today i would like to show you how to set up tls enable web server for that i use a free public key certification authority or it has that benefit and a tool called setbot and i will set up a web server uh, in aws amazon web service uh, platform. Two years ago, two years ago, obtaining certificate from the certification authority and configuring them in the web servers is to be done manually. Recently, there is a protocol created by a uh, proposed for do this uh, process or automate this process. This, this new protocol called it as automatic certificate management environment or the ACME protocol. Some of the certification authority in the world support this ACME protocol. There are some tools implemented uh, by different organizations uh, to execute this ACME protocol. Uh, using the ACME protocol, we can automate the certificate issuing and installing process at the web server. So then we can instantly enable PLS in our web server without doing all these manual steps. So the objective of the lecture today is to show you how to set up your own web server in Amazon platform, Ada. Plus, how we could enable TLS in that particular web server. So in order to do that, we obtain the public key certificate from a CEA quality as less encrypt certification authority using a tool called it as set bot. Step by step, I will show you how to do that. After we set it up, this we will uh, verify the strength of that uh, connection using a tool called SSL Lab. Test your certificate tool. Uh, let's start uh, uh, the demonstration where you may learn how to set up your own web server, uh, own TLS enabled web server, how to set up your own TLS enabled web server. Right. In order to show that, I'll share my uh, desktop so you may see all the uh, applications running on my desktop. I close the slides for the moment. So I will start here. You see, I have logged into AWS console. So if you don't have such, you can go to uh, AWS uh, Amazon.com website, AWS Amazon.com website, and create an account for you. So when you create an account, uh, you have to give your credit card. So they may give one year free trial. So you can do this, uh, practice this activity for one year. Uh, without paying them. So they charge as you use. So if you don't want to use those servers, you can shut it down uh, after the exercise. So then they only charge for the period you are using this. Uh, so so you can try that Amazon. You just need to have a credit card. So after you get the server from there, you want to assign a domain name. There are different companies who are providing domain names, uh, selling domain names. I'm using a, a company called GoDaddy uh, and obtain a domain name uh, uh, called icecube.center to kind of show you this demonstration. So let's start. So first of all, what I need to do is set up our own web server. So for that, uh, I'm using Amazon EC2 instance. So what I do in this Amazon EC2 instance, I I go this instant tab, and then I say launch instance, launch new instance. So when I press that, it shows me the virtual VMs which I can launch, so T2 microtype, 
instance is eligible for free tiles, like free usage for you. So I click that uh, to set up my server. So after I click that, so you can pick different uh, server sizes. It's based on the types. You know, you see the uh, CPU numbers and the memory size is changed. But uh, we we just go with the free free version. So I press next. Then there are configurations you need to set up your configurations like it says uh, uh, where we need to run and which type of network uh, subnet you use and so on so you just click the default thing and after that we can add the volumes hardly so default they will give like HGB volume to our VA so that's enough for our demonstration so when you go to the next then we can name that instance using some tags. So we skip that and go to the next. So in the next button, so we, we can, uh, we have to create a firewall host to add, uh, to communicate with this instance. By default, SSH is enabled because we need to kind of remote log into this. Uh, so uh, since we are going to set up a HTTP S web server, so I would like to enable HTTP on that. So, so I enable to use HTTP, and I also enable to use HTTPS. So that is TL. HTTPS refers to secure HTTP or TL. So it works with the 443 port. So since we're going to set up a TLS server in that, so I add that uh, TLS also to the, also to the firewall. So then after that, we can kind of uh, uh, launch the instance. So basic things are ready. So we say launch. So when you press launch the instance, we need to do an important action. So we need to remotely connect to this instance. In order to remotely connect this instance, we use a protocol called Secure Shell. It uses public private key again. So the AWS will create public private key fair for us automatically. Uh, we all we can if you can already create such uh, private keys, we can use one of these. I will sh I will pick uh, 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 create a new key fair option to show you how to do that. So we pick here create a new key pair because we, when you are doing first time, you have to create a new key pair. After you create a new key pair, other instance, you can use that existing key pair without creating new key pair. Uh, so I will create a key pair and call it, uh, let's call this key as maybe TLS, uh, TLS server key, that is uh, private key, uh, TLS server key. Uh, so you have to download this key first without that key actually you cannot access this server uh, sorry i don't want to install it to ubuntu so i will show you later on uh, so we let's see we have downloaded that because otherwise uh, we may not be able to use that so this this is the key we downloaded that so maybe i uh, move that key to my Right, so key is ready, and then we say launch the uh, instance. So AWS will set it up. Uh, uh, we say view instance. Right, uh, it is launching the instance, new new server for us. Right, so it has a public address of this, public IP address of this. So we want to assign the domain name to that instance to get, in order to get a TLS a public key certificate to, from the less than crib server. So if you kind of like launch an instance with Amazon, a new instance, uh, Amazon will automatically assign the public IP address. So when you turn down this server, or we can maybe if you let's say you are not using this server, you shut down the server. And when you restart the server, it will actually put a different IP. So if you, are, you want to use this as a fixed server and get, obtain the public key certificate, you need to have a fixed IP there. So 
So how do you do that? The MSN support that. For that, you need to get a, what we call it as elastic IP. So in this, uh, there, so there is an option to get you the fixed IP. Right? So where you can request the uh, fixed IP uh, from Amazon. Uh, so, so uh, we, yeah, it seems it's assigned to a different IP. Let's see. So we go to the uh, uh, instance we are running. Uh, instance. So we name this instance. Uh, maybe we say my web server. Right. Uh, so then you go to the elastic IP. And uh, go to the associate IP and then select the instance you are running. So this is the instance you are running. And then say associate. So I think now this uh, 42, 174, 42 IP is assigned to the instance, let's see. Go there. Yes. Turn four forty two IP is now assigned to them. So it has now kind of fixed IP. Even we stop and start the server, so this IP may not going to change. Right. Uh, so uh, so it's now uh, ready. So now the next thing is we have to assign the domain name to this IP. So that can be done by maybe I copy this IP address. And here I copied it. Uh, let's say I'm using uh, control V, I copy this IP address. And then I go to my uh, GoDaddy. Uh, console where I purchase uh, uh, this uh, domain and then I go to the manage domain name sir in the GoDaddy website and I need to then uh, uh, manage the index. And then I need to change this record. And put this IPV obtained and save. So then I have set up a domain name with this IP. So it's connect to uh, kind of uh, this Amazon uh, Amazon web service right for that so I need to connect to the instance so using my terminal so you see I have uh, in order to connect I have to use public uh, uh, private key pair so I have purchased uh, I have downloaded those public keys so you see this is the uh, I have downloaded actually private key of the server so this is the private key, which uh, uh, we, I just downloaded, you notice that. So I need to log into this uh, using this private key. Actually, uh, when I was logging, before I using this private key, I need to change the access mode of this private key. And let's see, how do I do that? So these are the private keys which I am using in previously for different servers. So you see, this is the private key I just downloaded. It has read write attributes. So basically, 
I want to use that for remotely logging to the servers, I need to only set up read, removing this write attribute. So I can do that using change mode command. I say change mode and give 400 at write to this uh, private key. So let's see now. Uh, so I say give this access rights. So then my private key has correct access rights. Uh, so I then I can perhaps uh, uh, log in now uh, to my remote server. So how I can do with this uh, SSH? I type SSH and I say minus I and give my private key. And then I need to give the login name. If in case we want to use the login to Amazon Ubuntu server, the username is Ubuntu and then add sign and then need to give a and need to give a kind of uh, domain uh, uh, name or the IP address so this is the IP address of the server so I use this IP address uh, and try to log in so first time when I log in it has it send the public key of this web server. I need to add it permanently to my system. So after that, you see I have remote login to the web server I just created. So as the next step, what I have to do is install Apache Dev. So that I need to first run sudo apt get update. So I update all repositories uh, of this uh, server instance I got. Uh, so then I just install sudo apt get install Apache, uh, maybe I use Apache 2. So yeah, yes. So the the system will automatically search Apache and install it on this uh, particular web server. So I think it's done. Now uh, Apache is installed. Uh, so let me go to my browser. So maybe I use the IP address. Uh, directly like that. You see it's connected. DNS entry is still not propagated perhaps. Uh, that's why uh, we cannot go to that uh, uh, domain. Let's try once again uh, whether I can get that. This IP is set it up like that. So it's okay. I think if I save that as well, yes. So let's see, it will get propagated. So we have this Apache now set it up in this instance. So we perhaps you want to see whether we are on the uh, actually correct website. Let's put some simple page there to make sure that. So basically when you install the uh, web, uh, the root directory is uh, www.html. Uh, so this is the base page, index HTML. So maybe I uh, copy it and move it uh, to the default page to maybe default uh, dot alt and then write a simple index HTML. Sorry, it's permission denied, so I need to uh, move it using sudo. And there are no index HTML. I create a new one. And I just say, maybe.
uh, some some content right and i save it ah uh, sorry i need to run vi uh, i need to run vi with this uh, sudo so then i type something Like that, and then I write it. So I have the new index HTML file. Now let's uh, try to type my domain name. That is icecape.center. Hmm. Still, I cannot reach it. But uh, let's try using this. Yes, it's reach. So IP address set it up correctly. So you see it's reached to my server. Uh, and I already put the DNS here, uh, but it's already done, I guess, but I do that to make sure it. I uh, already uh, enabled, universe is already enabled. So that's fine. So then I need to add a new repository called set port uh, to my server. So this is my server. Add a new repository called set port. And when I press enter, it will add it to the server. Fine. So after that, what I need to do is I need to install set port a version which I use for Apache. So like this. I say uh, sudo apt get installed Python set board uh, of there for Apache. So it will automatically install the set board. Right. Done. Then I need to obtain a certificate from NetScan itself. So that I just run this command. So in the prompt, I say I run in the administrative mode to do the software set board. Uh, dash dash Apache when I'm running for Apache. My using minus the option, I want to say for which domain I would like to certify. So I would like to certify Ice Cube dot center plus ice cube ww ice cube dot center using minus c i added two domains so then i get a public key certificate which can be used for these two domains the set port will fetch those public key certificate automatically and configure them for us like that so it has email address so maybe you can uh, type some email address So then it asks to agree the terms and conditions. Then it asks whether you would like to share your email address with other people. So maybe I say no. So then it's fetching the certificate. Uh, and then it installs. So after install, it asks for which files where you need to enable this server. So SSL configuration files, it's uh, pointed out. Uh, it's the default configuration, or you can use this SSL configuration files used by this less encrypt server. Maybe I pick two. So it already set up. Then it asks whether I want to use uh, HTTP as well, or would you like to completely use HTTPS, that means secure connection. So if, you, if someone wants to connect to the HTTP, it automatically redirects to HTTPS. So I say yes, I don't want unsecure connection now anymore. Everything should be encrypted. Right. So it's automatically set up the server. So hopefully my domains are 
now propagate yes now already propagated type address you see i got the page uh, to ssn so how do i know that so i you can see this padlock icon in the lock location so you when you press that you get the information about the security of this particular page and you press the certificate button you can see i have a certificate issued to icecube.center by a server called less encrypt certification authority so my server setup is finished so you see i'm connecting to the same server <clears throat> i will show you like i i maybe i uh, change the content of the server back uh, so my content is in the uh, var www.html directory right so i say we are done right I change the web page and let's reload it to see whether i got it yes so this is so it's the same server so as i said we set it up right so then now how do you kind of check the strength of that for that there is a website called ssl uh, uh, labs Uh, SSL labs. So you go to that and you say test server and you can give you a domain name. This is the domain name of your server, right? Icecube.center. And give that and submit it. So it will automatically uh, execute the test on your server. And it will give the report based on that. So then, based on the report, you can uh, kind of like uh, configure back or uh, fine tune your web server. Right. Uh, it will take time to run it. So, in the meantime, I will go back to my slide uh, and finish that. Uh, so, you see now we have obtained. Uh, public key certificate from less than uh, using a tool called setbot and it automatically installed into our Apache web server. So these are the commands which you have to give. So these are the uh, information about uh, important locations. So for example, all your public key certificates installed in this directory in your boot web server, etc, let's encrypt live and your domain name and the file called fullchain.pem so that is the public key certificate you receive uh, from the less encrypt server so set post automatically save it in that location uh, your private key of the web server saves in in this location it is the less encrypt live and the domain name of your system uh, and then in that directory so there is a uh, file called private EP. So there, the lesson crypt uh, private key will be installed by the set board server. Right? So your web server root is var www.html. I already uh, show you. I already demonstrated that. And your TLS or the configuration, SSL or TLS configuration file location is this etc apache2 site enable and ww default le let's encrypt ssl cons is your configuration file of your tls or ssl server so if you want to further fine tune that web server you have to open this tl file and tune the parameters in that file phishing effects bad guys set it up look like website for that they need to set it up a public web server like i did and then obtain a similar domain name and then get certificate to that domain name using this test template. 
So what is certification authority in the world did recently? They have set it up some protocol called Certificate Transparency Standard or CT Standard. With this Certificate Transparency Standard, most of the certification authority in the world agree to announce the list of public key certificates they issued to the end users. Public key certificate, anyway public, they will give access to the log of this public key certificate issuer. Similarly, Let's Encrypt server also give access to this CS certificate issuing log. So by looking at this log, what, what we can do is actually we can predict the coming phishing attack. So for example, if someone set it up a website, let's say uh, bankofsilon.com, to execute a phishing attack of Bank of Ceylon. So then we can see that uh, attacker has obtained this Bank of Ceylon.com public key certificate from a less encrypt uh, uh, service logs, or what we call it as CT log. So then immediately we can get ready. So we can kind of like, uh, in advance, little bit in advance, not more, little bit in advance, we could get an idea. There are some initiatives has taken to do a phishing attacks on some website. So we could get that information from the, what we call it as certificate transparency log. So, however, the problem is the CT logs are very huge. So we need to analyze those or kind of look Search those to get these similar domain names and so on. It's, it's, it's a huge kind of like, a, it's a, uh, uh, we need a lot of processing for that. But uh, security researchers are kind of uh, experimenting with this certificate transparency logs right now to implement uh, uh, some automate, automatic systems to identify phishing attacks. With that, I can conclude this lecture to, uh, today or the demonstration, actually demonstration today. Yeah, what I would like to demonstrate is how to set it up a TLS web server. How do I do that? I use uh, Amazon AWS uh, console uh, a AWS Amazon.com. Uh, to get the Elastic Cloud instance. Uh, so this is an Ubuntu instance of a server. I got it from Amazon. So I will show you. Right. EC2 instance. I obtained that. And I assign the public IP address, permanent public IP address to this instance, which I obtained. So this is the uh, instance which I just uh, started today. And I assign this public IP address to this instance. And then this public IP address I assign to uh, uh, my domain name called cube dot center domain name, I assign this public key. Then using this console, uh, I log into this instance. So for that I use the command ssh final site, uh, my private key file name, and then login name Ubuntu at this IP address. Using ssh console, I log into this uh, server. And then in this server, I install Apache using uh, Apache. And then I install the software called Setbot. And then I run the Setbot to automatically, and I run the Setbot and automatically obtain the public key certificate from a server called uh, letsencrypt.com. So then, uh, so I, you see, I got this. That page, uh, and and then after that I use SSLabs.com to check the 
strength of them. Uh, so it's overall ranking I got it B. So then I can go through that file and see the weaknesses I, I see, the weaknesses, and then I need how to reconfigure my uh, SSL or TLS configuration file to uh, improve the uh, security. So the main weakness is basically this server support TLS version 1 uh, and TLS version 1.1. 1 .1. So uh, present version is TLS 1.3. We should stop support uh, to uh, these two in my web server. So otherwise, some attackers may downgrade my protocol to these no versions and then attack me. So that's why these uh, SSL, uh, SSL labs rate me as B. So I right now we should only support TLS 1.3 or 1.2 kind of 1.3 is the latest testing. So then I can obtain A grade for one. So you try yourself to do that. Uh, and, and try to set it up your own TLS server, like here. There's a public server and the real server you can use for your real activity. Okay, that's it for this. So if you do it for kind of practice, so you don't need to run this server anymore, then, then you can maybe uh, stop the server. So it stopped um, uh, temporarily, then the Amazon may not charge for me. Uh, so it's charged only for the period it runs, or only for the period I do this tip. Uh, so that's it uh, for the day. So try yourself to set it up your own TLS and